Good evening, everyone. I'm Cola B, and welcome to Nightly News with Cola B. We're just one day away from the U.S. presidential election, and the stakes have never been higher. Kamala Harris and Donald Trump are making their final push to sway voters, and tensions are running high. Let's dive into tonight's top stories. Both Kamala Harris and Donald Trump spent the weekend rallying their supporters in key battleground states. Harris, speaking in Detroit, called on her supporters to stay engaged and resist complacency, emphasizing the importance of free and fair elections. Meanwhile, Trump in Pennsylvania continued to cast doubt on the electoral process and voiced his frustration over poll numbers, even referring to them as fake. With only one day to go, both candidates are making their most compelling cases in an election that could shape the future of the United States. Early voting numbers have reached historic levels, with over 75 million Americans casting their ballots ahead of Election Day. This unprecedented turnout suggests a surge of interest and engagement from the public. However, while we know the numbers, it's still unclear which candidate stands to gain from this enthusiasm. Both campaigns are laser-focused on getting every last vote, with Harris's team reportedly knocking on thousands of doors each minute over the weekend. A major driving force in this election, particularly among women, is the issue of reproductive rights. The Supreme Court's 2022 decision to overturn Roe v. Wade has had a significant impact, fueling Harris's campaign as she promises to protect and expand reproductive freedoms. Women across the country are sharing their stories and advocating for change, emphasizing how deeply personal and powerful this issue is for them. Election security is another major concern this year. With incidents of threats and harassment against election workers increasing, polling places across the country have taken unprecedented measures to ensure safety, from bulletproof glass to panic buttons. Election officials have reported being followed and harassed, with some even wearing bulletproof vests for protection. It's a sobering reminder of the challenges facing democracy in this polarized climate. In Canada, Peel Regional Police are urging calm after a violent protest broke out at a Hindu temple in Brampton, Ontario. Videos circulating online show clashes involving Caliston flags and physical confrontations. The Canadian government has condemned the violence, with officials emphasizing that all religions have the right to practice their faith peacefully and without fear. Back to Canada, the clock is ticking on potential port labor disruptions that could have significant impacts across the country. On the West Coast, BC's ports face a possible shutdown as job action could begin as early as tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, dock workers in Montreal have already been striking, leading to partial closures. This could have ripple effects on the economy and disrupt the supply chain as we approach the holiday season. Kamala Harris's path to the presidency could be complicated by shifting voter demographics. While she enjoys strong support among women and many black voters, recent polls show a surprising number of black men leaning toward Donald Trump, citing economic issues and personal beliefs. This shift, even if small, could make a significant difference in states like Georgia, where black voter turnout has historically played a pivotal role. This election is seeing one of the widest gender divides in U.S. history. Kamala Harris leads significantly among women voters, particularly younger women, while Trump has a notable edge among men. Analysts say that this battle of the sexes dynamic could play a crucial role in determining the outcome. Women have consistently voted in higher numbers than men since the 1980s, and this trend could be decisive on Tuesday. And that wraps up tonight's edition of Nightly News with Cola B. As we approach this pivotal election day, the world is watching and the stakes couldn't be higher. Stay tuned for more coverage tomorrow and don't forget to make your voice heard at the polls. Thank you for joining me tonight. Stay safe, stay informed, and have a great evening.